Now that I've got all the wiring pretty much buttoned up, it's time to move on to controls. I'm gonna work on the shifter. Um, right now, the shifter is just this little knob here and you can kind of grab it with your hand and manually do it, but it's not easy or very nice because it's right next to the hot exhaust. So this is the original shift linkage from the ATV and I'm gonna try to use as much of it as possible just to figure out where it fits. I'm gonna actually make for the Barbie camper on the Arc Droid is gonna be a metal version of this. This is the shift pattern selector thingy for the shifter. I wanna make it out of metal so that it's more compact and fits where I need it to be because this just doesn't fit there. Um, so to do that, I'm gonna use the trace feature of the Arc Droid where you just put this stylus in here, plug it in and then trace the outline here. So I'm just gonna cut this off flat, stick it to the table and trace it that way. Did my trace of this. I did a kind of rough one, just I want to see how it turns out. Let's try it out. Uh -oh. I think I screwed up this trace. That's my bad. So what happened there is when I traced it, I forgot that you have to like, when you get to the end of a thing, you have to tell it to close the loop. And so I forgot that, but otherwise, that kind of traced out a pretty, pretty close to the right shape pattern. Um, it looks great, works great, shifts through all the gears. So now I'm gonna make a little springy thing to, that'll hold, help hold it in all the gears. When it's in the gears, or neutral, it's, it's meant to be held to one side, specifically that side. I have a little spring here. Uh, I just gotta take this off and modify the thing a little bit so it can clear. And then I'll just go to a little, I'll make a little loop and put it on this carburetor bolt there. And then the shifter will be done. Aside from, I still need to find an exciting shift knob. Barbie head. Barbie head. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we could. I that's feel just like the, that's a little morbid. That's just the first thing I thought of. But yeah, that's terrible. That's a little. I mean, that would be really funny. I don't know if it would be. It wouldn't be big integrity. enough. Yeah. No, it'd be big enough. It doesn't matter. I mean, you could well, shift it with nothing. It, and then epoxy it in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's all squishy. I don't think it'd make a great oh. shift knob. Good feel, uh, nah. Uh, I mean, like, it'd be funny, but I feel like it'd just be a little weird because it'd be like, <laughs> a, like, if you used the whole Barbie as the shifter, it wouldn't be that bizarre, but just the head, it's like, you cut off Barbie's head. Okay, yeah, look, snacks. that's one of the worst ideas we've had in a while. The spring is sprunging, as they do. And uh, I found another small piston for the shift knob. And if I remember correctly, this is the original piston from the engine that's in the Barbie car. Pouring out the inside to exactly this diameter in the center. Uh, and then I'm just gonna cut a chunk of this off, stick it in there, thread the middle of it, and uh, that'll be that. I really just love making tiny little really cool parts on the lathe. I wanna do more machining. 
in my daily life. It's, it's fun. So this goes inside of the piston here and um, it's a nice snug fit. So I'll just thread it onto this big long bolt here, which of course is the same thread pitch as that, top of the shifter. Now I just finagle this in here. Well, so much for my precision fit. It's a little bit too snug. So, yeah, I just need a bigger hammer. Shoot, that's such a tight fit. I don't even know if I need to weld it. We've got a really awesome giveaway going on right now with an arc droid. I wish I could enter to win this thing, but I work for Grind Hard. And we are giving away a plasma cutter, so you get the whole package deal. All you gotta do is go to our store and get one of these awesome bottle openers, or one of these super sick shirts, or a hat, or anything you want. Just $5 gets you an entry to win this thing. And... Oh. So go check it out. This koozie is even magnetic, which is pretty awesome. Knocking out all sorts of little bits and pieces that need to be done for this thing to be finished. So uh, next episode, I will build a really sweet custom steering wheel. And of course, integrated hand controls, thumb throttle, hand brakes, you know, all of that, all of that good stuff. Um, I have some plans to make a cool thing with the Arc Droid, the little Barbie logo in the middle of the steering wheel. It's gonna be sweet, but um, yeah. Now we got we got our shifter, we got all of our switches, all of the little stuff. We're we're really closing in on this thing being almost finished. It'll be sending very soon. Honestly, I would have driven it around more now, but like driving it with just this as the steering wheel is a little tricky. So, steering wheel next. It's gonna be cool. Also, finally got my split loom for the wiring harness. Uh, but don't worry, I'm not gonna make you sit through any more of me doing wiring. We already have seen far too much of that. So, uh, but I will loom up the whole harness and make it look all shiny and sexy, uh, you know, when the camera's not looking.